Top 10 Borderlands Games Number 10, Borderlands Legends Back in 2012, when this bad graphics mobile game was released, the president of 2K Games said that the release of Borderlands Legends exemplifies our commitment to growing the Borderlands franchise. And boy, he wasn't kidding. The Borderlands franchise sure is doing great these days. Number 9, The Division Scrapping the bright and colorful alien world of Pandora in favor of just a, a city, Ubisoft made the genius move of setting their looter shooter in the real world. The regular human enemies that take a million shots from an assault rifle to kill really heightens the immersion. Number 8, Destiny. After leaving Halo to die a slow and painful death, Bungie was like, hey everybody, look at our cool new game. And everyone was like, eh. But then, number 7, Destiny 2 came out, and it's actually pretty good after you buy all their DLC. Number six, Warframe. I know nothing about this game except for the fact that I played it one time, but there were like 20 different currencies and all these stats and I didn't know what anything did, so I got annoyed and quit. Overall, I'd say it was way more fun than Halo 5. Number five, Borderlands the pre-sequel is what happened when Randy Pitchford told his worker drones to make Borderlands 2 again, but lower the gravity a little bit. Some people may have seen this game as a cheap cash grab, but we should be thankful that the money raised from this game went into financing one of the greatest games of all time. <laughs> Number 4. Tales from the Borderlands is the second best Telltale game of all time. Right after the Strong Bad one, of course. It's a great game, and I highly recommend it. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to save Telltale. People really seem to like that Assassin's Creed game. Let's make 50 more just like it. People really seem to like that Call of Duty game. Let's make 50 more just like it. People really seem to like that Walking Dead game. Let's make 50 more just like it. Number 3. Borderlands is the game that started it all. I have very fond memories of this game, but if you go back and play it today, you'll probably just be thinking to yourself, why am I not just playing? Number 2. Borderlands 2. For this one, they were like, okay, let's actually add some color this time, and let's also make the story not awful. And remember how in Borderlands 1 we had one good DLC and the rest were trash? Yeah, let's just do that again. And finally, number 1. Diablo 2.